This video will give you the skills you need to get a regression done with a set of data. In this case, a, a linear regression. So, here are the steps. Follow along, and you will probably get it. So, first thing you got to do is enter the data. You do that by pressing the STAT key, and you press Enter to edit and now you're going to be looking at the lists here. So the first thing you have to do is clear out whatever lists are there. So you scroll up to the top of list one, you press the clear key, you scroll down. <coughs> um, and you can do the same thing over in L2. You're going to need L2 clear. So scroll up, clear, scroll down. Now they're both clear. Now you want to enter in the data. I've got some data that I'm using from a problem of one of my textbooks what the actual problem is isn't important in this video all that's important is to know that it is some data that we're going to do a linear regression on so we're really just working on skill here a calculator skill so what you need to do is repeat the values that you see me entering in here that's 22 24 27 35 and 25 in the input and the output to this relationship or function is 12, 15, 20, 25, and 17. One thing you might notice is that the data are not ordered here in the input, and that's totally okay, even though 25 is actually supposed to be back here after 24 in terms of order. In this exercise and, and graphing it, you don't have to have them in order. Okay, so you can pause the video right now and uh, enter that data in if you didn't get it. I'm going to continue on right now. So, we want to do a regression. Uh, one of the things we want to do is make sure that the uh, diagnostic is on so we get the correlation coefficient. So you want to do uh, quit out of here, do second catalog. You only have to do this once. Once you do this, um, you don't need to do it again. So I'm going to press D. It's already in alpha mode, so I'm going to press D, and that will get me down to the D's instead of having to scroll there. And I'm scrolling down to look for diagnostic on, which is right there. Press enter, and enter one more time, and now it's on. Now I'll be able to see the correlation coefficients when I do the regression. Okay, so now what do I do? If I want to clear my home screen out, I'm going to press the STAT key and uh, oop, let's look at our plot actually first. So I want to do second STAT plot and I want to make sure that plot one is turned on. So I press enter. I scroll over to the right to make sure its cursor is on on. Press enter. Now the cursor is definitely on. I need to double check this is L1 and L2 and I'm on my scatter plot up here that first type. Okay, I quit out of there. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is do zoom and I'm going to scroll down to get to zoom stat and that will plot my data that I just entered. So zoom stat's the, the key to getting the data plotted properly and it's very easy. You don't have to figure anything out. It's always good. It's going to give you a window right around your data. So you might say to yourself, at this point, is this a linear set of data? Can I draw a good line through here? And the answer is, mm, maybe. Looks okay, not great. So I'm going to run a re linear regression at this point. In a, another example, you might run a quadratic regression on it. So how do I run a linear regression? I press STAT. I go over to CALC. And then I go down till I see LINREG, which stands for li linear regression. Press ENTER press enter again and there's my linear regression here's the linear form a x plus b here are my coefficient my constant my linear form and this is the correlation coefficient squared this is the value that helps you determine the goodness of fit um, but one way to determine the goodness of fit is actually see the regression line on top of the data so how do you do that you do this you press Y equals, you go to Y1, you clear out what's there. You could put this anywhere you want, Y2, Y3, it doesn't matter. And then you could press uh, VARS, 
and you go down to statistics press enter whoops looks like I got the wrong one let's try that again vars statistics and then you go over to EQ and you press enter to the first one R reg EQ which is regression equation and it plots or puts the regression equation right in there right in with those uh, correlation or excuse me the uh, parameters or, or coefficient and constant that it determined and you can already see the graph down here but on your calculator you would actually have to press the graph key to get the graph window up okay so that's how you get it in there I'm not going to show you anything more in this video at this point with the model equation in Y1 uh, we could also start evaluating the function like I've shown in other videos we can also use it to solve but this video we're just trying to get the regression equation into Y1 okay by the way one little other tip is you want to turn the plot the statistics plot off you can do it right here so here I'm turning it off for example now if I graph you're gonna see the data is gone just the line is there but if I go back to the Y equals screen and I put the cursor up there and I press enter and then I graph again now I'm gonna actually see the data back so that's a quick way to turn the statistics data on and off okay that's it